Republicans, specifically Donald Trump, seems to show no desire to reach out to a persuadable center, and it does exist. Corey Lewandowski is here, political strategist who managed Trump's 2016 campaign, joining us quite literally on the road. Corey, we appreciate it. Um, this is from Donald Trump today. Donald Trump made it clear that he doesn't want Nikki Haley supporters. I want to be clear. There is a place for them in my campaign. Why is, just in terms of pure paper statements, why is Joe Biden doing more to reach out to a member of Donald Trump's cabinet and her supporters than Donald Trump is? Well, look, here, here's where we are. Joe Biden's campaign is in free fall, and, and your previous guest just talked about this. Mm -hmm. The latest public opinion polls show that Donald Trump is receiving about 22 percent of the African-American vote. When you put that in a historical context, and particularly when Barack Obama was running for office, he received 98 and 98 percent of the African-American vote. And I understand he was a historical candidate, a special candidate, being the first African-American president. But Joe Biden is receiving 78% of the African-American vote right now in the battleground states of Michigan and Wisconsin. If those numbers hold up, it doesn't matter if Joe Biden reaches out to the Nikki Haley supporters. There's not enough supporters for Joe Biden to win the state of Michigan. So listen, Donald Trump and the campaign want everybody to vote for him, including the Nikki Haley supporters. There is a path for Donald Trump to win by a bigger margin in this election than he beat Hillary Clinton in 2016. Okay. So one of, the, one of the things we pointed out in the last segment was what Steve Kornacki said, that Donald Trump supporters aren't going anywhere. Not only aren't they going anywhere, they're excited, they're energized. You and I saw that in New Hampshire, certainly. Uh, I saw it in, in Iowa. I saw it in South Carolina. They will walk over hot coals for him. So again, why not take this opportunity, take last night to tell Nikki Haley supporters, a lot of whom are Republicans, maybe some of whom are Democrats, look, I hear you. There, there is a place for you. We've got, to, we've got to bring this together. He's not doing that. But, but here's the difference. Look, people understand now what the Biden policies are, what we've seen for the last three years. So those individuals who supported Nikki Haley uh, in these early primaries, clearly are going to support Donald Trump. They understand what it means, the difference between prosperity and failure, between a, a country that is safe and secure and a country that has open borders. So those Nikki Haley supporters, if they supported anything that Nikki Haley stood for, there is no way they're supporting Joe Biden's campaign or the Joe Biden administration. So I feel very good that those individuals are going to come home. Steve Kornacki was right. 97% of those people who voted for Donald Trump four years ago are still with them. We see a precipitate drop off in the Biden campaign, that's detrimental to Joe Biden because he has nowhere to go to pick up those votes when the African Americans, okay. the Asian Americans, and the Hispanic Americans aren't with him anymore. All right, so fair, fair to say you, have, you are bullish beyond words on Donald Trump's prospects. I understand that. Um, want to talk to you, though. The, the, the dynamic is very different in 20, than in 2016 and in 2020 and in 2022. Uh, Donald Trump is now on the ballot, as are a number of his acolytes, including the lieutenant governor now running for governor in North Carolina. Take a look at some of the things he's had to say. I love to pass a law that restricts abortion. We could pass a bill saying you can't have an abortion in North Carolina for any reason. Abortion is a scourge that needs to be run out of this land. All right. These Trump Trump picked candidates, whether it was Doug, Doug Mastriano uh, in Pennsylvania, Herschel Walker in Georgia, we can go through the list. They have not done well. They have dragged down Republicans to up and down the ticket. How does this not have an effect on Donald Trump, who's someone who's so toxic? Well, if you remember, look, look back at 2016, they said Donald Trump and Pat Toomey could never be successful in the state of Pennsylvania. They both won. Pat Toomey in Pennsylvania won that Senate race because Donald Trump dragged him across the line. Same was true with Ron Johnson in Wisconsin uh, in 2016. So, you know, listen, I, I, Donald Corey, Trump Corey, I get that. I'm going to give you, Corey, to I'm gonna give you the last out. word. I, I get that. But you think about how Trump won in 2016, right? It was an additive process. Traditional Republicans who held their nose voting for him. There were a lot of them. You were part of this. Evangelical Christians who were voting on the Supreme Court. And then he brought in working class voters. It was additive. It was collaborative. I covered that. I covered that campaign. It was all about bringing people into the, into the Republican tent. It was not about excluding them the way Donald Trump and Republicans seem to want to be doing now. 
But look, the Donald Trump campaign has to be talking about closing the border, making sure people have safety and security in their homes and in their classrooms and on their streets, making sure they've got economic prosperity. If we're talking about the issue of abortion, by and large, Republicans are losing because the Democrats have done a great job of framing this as Republicans are saying, you can all you can never have an abortion. The truth is, this is now a state-based issue, but the Democrats have done a very good job mm -hmm. in framing this Roe v. Wade decision that old white guys, of which Joe Biden happens to be one of, has determined if and when a woman can have an abortion. The reality is this decision is now made at the state level, and every time Republicans are talking about that issue, they're losing. When they're talking about the safety and security of our country, they're winning. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.